Hello there, how are you? I'm sure you've heard a lot about our frontliners. Well, today, I'm going to share a short story about them with you. But before I do that, I need you to get a pen and paper so that you can write down the compound words that you hear as I say the story. Are you ready? All right, let's get started. Sonia's sister-in-law is Anna. She is the sister of Sonia's husband, Tonio. Anna and Sonia are frontline workers. They are the lead personnel during a pandemic. They have the most important jobs. While they work in the hospital, Tonio works at a fast food restaurant where people can buy food like burgers and fries. From Monday to Friday, all of them spend their time working. But during the weekend, all three volunteer to help in their barangay's feeding program. All their Saturdays and Sundays are spent feeding the homeless people who sleep on the streets. These people are grateful for their help and wish that there were more people like them. Wow! That was a great story about our frontline workers. Were you able to write down the compound words in the story? We have sister-in-law, frontline, of course, fast food, weekend, and homeless. You got them all? That's great! <laughs> but. Do you remember the three types of compound words? Hmm, let's see. What type of compound word is sister-in-law? Right, hyphenated. How about frontline? Closed. Fast food? Open. How about weekend? Closed. And homeless is... Closed. Awesome! You do know your compound words. Let's use context clues to find out the meaning of some words. Sonia's sister-in-law is Anna. She is the sister of Sonia's husband, Tonio. In this sentence, what does sister-in-law mean? It means the sister of one's husband. It also means the sister of one's wife. Anna and Sonia are frontline workers. They are the lead personnel during a pandemic. They risk their lives to do their very important jobs. What does frontline mean? It means lead. And it means having an important job where you risk your life. They feed the homeless people on the streets. What does homeless people mean? It means people without homes. That is why they sleep on the streets. There! We now know the meaning of the unfamiliar words using context clues. Let's practice some more. There are five compound words here and we have to figure out their meaning using context clues. Behind these doors are clues that will help us know the meaning of the compound words. Are you ready? Let's start. 
The first word is limelight. And it's an open compound word. What? It is not an open compound word? Oh, sorry, my bad. It's a closed compound word because it is written as one word. Thanks for reminding me. Now, let's figure out what it means. Hmm, maybe it's a lime with a light? Uh, I'm not sure. Let's look inside to see the clue. Kathy enjoys being in the limelight. She loves the attention she's getting. It's not a lime with a light. What do you think is the meaning of limelight? The sentence says it is something that Kathy enjoys. And it also says she loves the attention she's getting. So maybe limelight is attention. Yes, that's probably it. Now, let's see what's next. Starstruck. Hey, is starstruck an open compound word? <laughs> that's right. Starstruck is not an open compound word. What is it then? Oh yeah, it's a hyphenated compound word because it has a hyphen. Now, let's find out its meaning. Hmm, does starstruck mean getting struck by a star? Let's check the clue. Kathy met her favorite actor and was starstruck. Starstruck. Hmm, I think it is the feeling when you meet someone famous. Do you agree? Oh wow, we're right. Let's go to the next one. The next word is backstage. I'm sure that this is a closed compound word. Am I correct? Yes, it is a closed compound word because it is written as one word. Now, let's find out the meaning. What do you think backstage means? Let's look at the clue. Kathy went to the backstage where she saw the actors getting ready. Backstage. I think I know what this means. It's the part of the stage that people don't see. It's where the actors prepare before being on stage. Do you agree? Great! And we are correct! I wonder what the next word is. Sweet tooth. And this is... Do you know what kind of compound word this is? I remember now. It is an open compound word because it has a space in between. Kathy has a sweet tooth, not like her sister who loves spicy food. I think it has something to do with food. What do you think? Sweet tooth is the love for sweet food. Did you guess it right? Let's go to the next one. Bucket list, another open compound word. Does this mean a list of different buckets? <laughs> well, let's see if you're correct. Kathy is adventurous. She will hike Mount Apo according to her bucket list. Bucket list is not a list of different buckets. What do you think is the meaning of bucket list? I agree. I think that's the answer. It is a list of things someone wants to do. Wow, we are done. Now we know more compound words. I hope you had fun because I did. Until next time. <laughs> I am the joke and I'm here to take over the world. But first, I need some people to help me. Hmm. And I have this book to help me find them. Who could I hire? The Editor-in-Chief. Editor-in-Chief? What is an Editor-in-Chief? I know that it is a hyphenated compound word, but what does it mean? Let me read that again. Maybe there's a context clue somewhere. The Editor-in-Chief has the final say. His staff follow whatever he says. Aha! So an editor-in-chief is a leader, a boss, someone that has staff who follows him? What? I don't need an editor-in-chief. I'm the only boss, the only leader. Nah, forget about that editor-in-chief. Let me look for another one. Hmm, journalists make sure that they have an up-to-date scoop every day. They don't want old news. Hmm. J 
journalists. Interesting. But what does up-to-date mean? It's another hyphenated compound word, but I don't know its meaning. Let me look for clues. Journalists make sure that they have an up-to-date scoop every day. They don't want old news. So up-to-date is the opposite of old. They are antonyms. Ah, up-to-date is new. Journalists report up-to-date news. What will I do with the news? I forget the journalists. I need someone who will help me take over the world. Wait, peacekeepers. Peacekeepers? Hmm, do they keep peace away? Because they are just who I need. Someone who will prevent peace in this world. Peacekeepers, huh? Peacekeepers is a closed compound word, but what does it mean? Let's see. The peacekeepers came and helped the village to maintain peace. So, peacekeepers help maintain peace? No! Peacekeepers bring peace. Of course I don't need them. Enough of this. I will just work on my own. I will take over the world by myself. <laughs> hey coach, I'm all set for our game. What are you doing? Well, it's practice day, so I'm already warmed up. I know, it is practice day, but what are you wearing? Uh, a basketball jersey. Why are you wearing that? We are supposed to play soccer. So soccer? Yes, soccer. But, but coach, I've never played soccer. Now move and change your uniform. Yes, coach. I'm back, coach, though I must tell you that I have not played... Hey, hey, nice uniform. Okay, okay, listen, you will be our goalkeeper. What's a goalkeeper? As a goalkeeper, you have to keep an eye on the ball, defend well, and guard the goal. What? Now start practicing while I look after the other players, okay? Yes, coach. How am I supposed to practice when I don't even know what a goalkeeper is? Wait, as a goalkeeper, keep an eye on the ball, defend well, guard the goal. I got it! A goalkeeper is someone who defends and guards the goal from the other team's ball so that they won't score. Yes, I knew it, I got it. And that's, that's me. I am the goalkeeper. I should get the training. Maybe, maybe I should do some, I should, I should do some running, yeah. I should do some running and then maybe jumping, jumping. Yeah, and then, and then maybe like this, like this, be alert. Whenever you hear or read unfamiliar words, don't worry, that's actually a good thing. It means you have a chance to learn a new word. All you have to do is figure out its meaning. It's not that hard. You have context clues to help you. <laughs> Thank you for being with me today. I'll see you again next time. Remember, my room is your room. Bye!